Hi there, guys. Maybe you've heard of Diablo 3. Well, just found out that they're bringing it to consoles now, and I'm with... Jason Bender, lead designer on Diablo Console. And he's going to help us with our new addiction. Tell me, what are you doing differently for console? Well, it's all handcrafted for console, so we started with the controller and we worked out from there. All of your skills are, of course, on the face buttons and you can remap them wherever they need to be. All of the monsters are tuned, all of the loot is tuned. I mean, we've handcrafted everything. Once you get your hands on the controller, you realize that it's about direct control, you know, which way you're facing and which way you're shooting. But then we realized that, you know, on the right stick, when you, when you add a roll uh, to evade out of the way, it gives you all these tactical options. And that really breaks open the controls to something that really feels robust and intuitive it feels really good. When you're going through your inventory, we want to make sure that you don't spend too much time slowing yourself down, comparing everything. What we've done is we've focused the loot so that it's more likely to be tuned for your class. So if you're playing a barbarian, you're going to get an item that has strength on it. So your axe is going to be good for you. If you're playing a wizard, you'll get intelligence items. This really allows you to get loot that's likely to be good for you without having to sort through too many items. Talk to me about multiplayer because I played the PC version an unhealthy amount. The great thing about playing on console is that you can have four players on the same couch and it's not split screen, it's one shared screen. Or you can have people playing remote. Or you and I could be playing on a couch and we could have a friend from somewhere else jump in into our game. So that makes it a really social experience, trading loot, the ability to drop stuff. That stuff all works really smoothly. So right now we're playing as the wizard. Tell me, I mean, it really almost looks like a different game because of the control scheme. So walk me through what's going on. Uh, one thing is the camera's a little bit closer, so that, I mean, it really changes the way the game looks. But uh, with directional control, you know, uh, Matthew can decide to walk or run, or he can evade out of the way if these things are coming at him. So he has like lots of tactical options based on the controller. Of course, you can have four players on the same screen, so we wanted to keep our interface as small as possible. But um, one of the things we added is, you know, a fast equip. So what Matthew can do right now is he can uh, use up on the D-pad to scroll through things that he's picked up recently and equip uh, based on the stats or drop or whatever. So if I'm playing a barbarian and he finds a sword that he wants to drop for me, he can do that without opening his inventory. We're actually giving you higher quality items that drop not as often, but the quick equip also gives you the opportunity to manage those elements without having to open your inventory. But if you're looking for something specific, you can always open your inventory, have access to the detailed view of all the items, being able to compare every single different element and go, oh yeah, I really, that's the one I want. So just to summarize, less loot, but better item drops. Bless your heart. Gamers worldwide are crying right now of joy. Thank you. <laughs> they're, gonna be, they're gonna be even happier when they see the legendary drop rate. Now, is there any penalty if like I play for 20 minutes and then, oh man, I gotta leave? Do I lose the things that I received while playing this game? No, the game saves regularly, but also if you jump in and you have more players, the monsters will get tougher, right? Just like in classic Diablo. We basically balance for it. No matter how many players you have, there's always gonna be a good challenge and a good amount of loot. You can also bring your character over to your friend's house. If you've saved your character on the cloud, you can just log in and recover your account um, on both Xbox and PlayStation. Or you can put them on a USB stick and bring them to your friend's house. So there's a lot of ways to move your character around and make sure you keep your progress. Uh, so it's pretty much all the features of the original Diablo 3 and, and then some. Yeah, I mean, we were super lucky to benefit from everything that the PC has done and then uh, spend a lot of time handcrafting the game on top of that. So it's very robust. We're out on September 3rd on Xbox and PlayStation 3 and then next year on PlayStation 4. Keep a watch out for this one, guys. I'll see you online.